Converting various structures into cozy and stylish living spaces has become a fashionable trend nowadays. In this regard, Mark Twain's catchphrase said 130 years ago, by land, they're not making it anymore, proves to be true. Today, there's almost no free space for building detached houses in cities, not to mention megalopolises. That is why there are enthusiasts who are ready to prove that even a very average run-of-the-mill barn or garage can be made into a stunning apartment not inferior to luxury mansions in terms of comfort. Successful designer Martin Iwaka recently decided to conduct an experiment to prove that even with a small budget and a tiny plot of land, you can get stylish and modern apartments with surprisingly unusual interior and design. So she took a risk and bought an old garage with a surface area of 45 square meters, and here's what came of it. Given that Dalston was one of the most buzzing and fashionable areas in London, teeming with music, art, and design bohemia, buying property, or even renting an apartment, there is no easy task. Therefore, when Marta saw an ad for an old garage for sale, she didn't even bother to inspect the structure, but immediately bought it. What happened next? After that, Marta personally sketched a project of a luxurious and comfortable house that met all the needs of a modern person on this tiny plot of land. Interestingly, she named her new creation the Goss. Marta invented this unusual term herself by blending the words garage and house. Her concept envisaged organically fitting the renovated three-story building into the overall architecture of the neighborhood, preserving the aesthetics of the old garage and keeping the garden surrounding it. That was rather reasonable because the land plot was located in the depths of the alley lined with Victorian-style houses. That is why she chose not to build a futuristic structure. The unique feature of the new building's exterior design is that it harmonizes perfectly with the surrounding trees. The house is clad in cedar shingles, imitating old brickwork. Moreover, Marta designed the entrance to the new house in a quite unusual and original way. The old wooden gate was removed and replaced with a brick wall, so the first floor of the apartment building got a secret yellow brick door with a narrow window next to it. When passing by, you will immediately notice the modern structure in the old neighborhood as it is skillfully hidden under the crown of the perennial ash tree. Because of the limited space, the land plot measures only 4 by 10 meters. Marta decided to make the most of the vertical plane when building the three-story apartment. In order for the house to retain the traditional two-story look, she deepened the ground floor, leaving only small windows above the ground so that the sun's rays could illuminate this semi-basement. Here, Marta arranged not only a utility room, but also a wonderful living room with a wood burner, thus creating a special atmosphere of homey comfort. We should admit that the ground floor turned out to be really bright and exceptionally comfortable. Let's take a look at the other two floors. There we can find some more unique features. For example, the vertical plant exposition located on the lower level immediately catches the eye. The so-called living wall creates a feeling of an indoor-outdoor living space and is in perfect harmony with the surroundings. But there's more. The floor on each of the upper levels, as well as the ceiling on the third floor, has glass sections. These completely transparent islets have amazingly united the multi-level space, making the small area airier and more voluminous. Thanks to this solution, the sunlight can get inside through the roof in addition to the windows. And to provide the house with natural light, huge panoramic floor-to-ceiling windows were installed on the courtyard side visually enlarging the space and making it very bright. Moreover, the windows offer a wonderful view of the old garden. Marta also found an interesting solution for the first floor. In order to conceal the bedroom windows from prying eyes, she installed an open work wall of bricks laid out in a checkerboard pattern. This design trick allows sunlight to penetrate into the room all the while hiding it from the prying eyes of strangers. The perforated green landscaping wall also creates a secluded atmosphere on the first floor of the house, offering a stunning view from the window. However, the uniqueness of the project doesn't end there. In fact, in addition to the fact that each floor has access to the terrace with magnificent views located on the courtyard side of the house, the bathroom on the third floor has a glass ceiling. So you can endlessly admire the blue sky or the night stars while taking a shower or relaxing in a hot bath. When designing this small house, Marta stuck to the general concept. Inside a shed, you'd expect to find wooden logs, rusty metal parts, copper pipes, and plant pots. These elements influenced the interior design. 
Wood and metal are the main materials used in this house, and the open interior layout allowed Marta to create a unique living space. Following this idea, the builders didn't just use the minimum walls in the new house, they virtually abandoned partitions, thus creating an open layout. So literally in a few months, the old garage was converted into 126 square meters of living space with a huge living room, two bedrooms, as well as a dining room and its own patio, all in the incredibly green corner of huge London. As you can see, even with a very small plot of land, you can get a very functional house which will cost much less than a similar property from the developer or the owner. What are your thoughts on the house crafted from an old garage? Please feel free to share your opinions in the comments below. I hope you like this story. Please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. Also subscribe and press the bell icon to never miss the update from our channel. Thank you.